Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I'm really excited for, for, for this one because this is going to be awesome. Uh, I have been uh, talking to you guys, and you guys decided, so I'm going to be kicking off the uh, fandom month uh, with the one that you guys voted for, Spider-Man. Well, no, Marvel Comics is the fandom, but I'm starting off with Spider-Man. Yep, there he is. I wore... Where is he? There he is. I can't... There. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm having problems... Uh, uh, bending a little bit because my, my shoulder is like super sore. I think I slept wrong last night, but uh, I'm good. I'm raring to go. Hey, Teresa, welcome. I'm raring to go, and I'm going to go ahead and start my water now because this is going to be a really great tea. I am a super nerd when it comes to Spider-Man. He was my first, uh, my, my first comic book super fandom kind of thing. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is a big moment for me. Uh, probably bigger for me than you guys, but hey, you know, that's just how it is. So, uh, I want to talk about what fandom is. Uh, basically, fandom teas are teas that are based um, by how the creator interprets the character. Uh, so you have a whole series of different characters um, within the uh, within the geekdom universe uh, and people design the teas to taste like uh, or somehow represent the characters that it's based on. Uh, so being Marvel Comics, uh, the guy who created this wanted this tea to reflect who Spider-Man is to him. Uh, so I'm going to start with the um, with the uh, the, uh, the ingredients. Uh, it's a white tea with rose hips uh, hibiscus, apple pieces, uh, rose petals, mango pieces, cranberries, pineapple pieces, uh, n natural raspberry flavor, raspberries, blueberries, uh, natural pineapple flavor, and natural mango. Hey, Alejandra! Hey, Greg, what's up? Welcome! Uh, so, I don't know if uh, he left a description... Um, da, 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 da. he did not leave a description on here as to why uh, he created this this tea. Uh, it just says this is for entertainment. Uh, it goes with uh, what was it to get? Yeah, there's absolutely <laughs> nothing on here as to why he created it this way. Uh, but that's okay. I can I can um, I, I can interpret a little bit for him. Uh, I'm assuming he's going with the color scheme here because there's a lot of red fruits in here. Uh, there's rose hips, uh, hibiscus, apple, um, cranberries, uh, raspberries. Uh, yeah, those are like all the reds. And then you have the blue, you have the blueberry there, and you have the, the white, which is like the white tea. Um, I guess you could say pineapple is kind of on the whitish side, but, uh, you know... That's, that's just my personal interpretation. Uh, so this is going to be a very sweet tea. Uh, he's he's um, put this together specifically as, uh, as a, uh, 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 an iced tea. So this is going to be very smooth, very sweet. Nicole, welcome! Uh, it's going to be very light. Since this is a white tea, I'm going to brew this as a, uh, as a green tea, which is on the lighter side, temperature-wise. And time-wise, it's going to be uh, three minutes rather than five. Uh, so it's going to be about, uh, what was it, 180 degrees is the, uh, is the normal for, for green tea. A little bit slightly high for white tea, uh, but it doesn't seem that this is all white. Uh, it's going to be a lot of um, herbs. So they have like a lot of herbal and tisane ingredients. So I, I'm not too worried about temperature-wise because the white tea is going to be uh, affected, but the overall flavor is going to be pulled out with like the all the fruits and stuff. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about the the time uh, because even though it's going to be hot, um, if I leave it in too long, the white tea might uh, oversteep and you might get a little bit of a bad. Uh, like a like a not a sour bitter flavor um but hey brianne welcome i'm waving because i know you can't hear me so 
<laughs> at least you know I'm say I, I I'm acknowledging that you're here. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and this is gonna be a little bit tricky because normally I have the pouches, but this one is it's gonna be a small tin. Um, so I'm gonna see how I get to show you guys. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm all right. I'll risk it. So, here you go. This instead of pulling it out, I'm gonna leave it in there. Uh, but you can see it's a very, very colorful tea. It's oh, got a lot of fruit. Um, you got the cranberries. You got the apple pieces. Uh, those leaves are the white uh, are the white tea leaves. Um, it's hard to see what else is in there. I mean, you see like the the uber red in the uh, lower right hand corner. That's the hibiscus. Uh, so that, there you go with all of the ingredients. It's a very, very colorful, very, uh, very chunky looking tea. So, uh, to make things easier, since I don't have the, uh, since I don't have the pouch, I'm just going to pour a little bit directly from the tin. Oh, some of it got away. Into there. And this is this is very juicy. Like it's it's sticking to the to the spoon a little bit. And I dropped some cranberry and apple on the side. That's okay. I'll clean up the rest later. But there we go. Um yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll put a little bit more because it looks like it's chunky, but it's not really filling up the. Uh, there we go. Filling up the infuser like I'd like. You guys know I like to make it a little bit strong. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Normally I put a lot more in it, but you know, for for uh, for just for the the sake of this stream. Oh, why don't you switch the camera? There you go. So I'm not putting a whole lot. I'm leaving it relatively uh, small at the bottom. Um, I don't foresee this expanding too much because uh, it's already fruit. It's already hydrated, uh, dehydrated slightly. Uh, but you're not going to get much. Um, you're not going to get much absorption from this since it's already a, a chunky tea. And my water is done, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it out and this is going to be another unsweetened one there we go and setting the clock at three minutes rather than five so I'll go ahead and let that steep a little bit and if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to talk about just throw it at me, I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions for you. Uh, since I went through a lot of the, um, the fandom culture, um, you know, if you guys want to ask me anything about fandom culture in general, just go ahead and uh, open up the discussion. Um, Greg, I know, <laughs> I know that you love Marvel Comics because you're my dude whenever we go to the movies. We've been watching these movies for 10 years. He flew all the way from New York to Chicago just to watch Infinity War, and man, was it worth it. We had a blast that weekend. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, um, I don't normally do white teas on the stream. Uh, not that I don't like them, I love white teas. Uh, but I don't know, it's just something that I, I don't really do a whole lot. Um, I, I think that after this, uh, this month is over, we can I can look into other white teas. Uh, start to look into more what's the word looking for like um exploring a little bit you know widening my my horizons uh, and if you guys have any uh suggestions let me know it might be something that i haven't oh there we go quackhead is sounding the alarm so let me go ahead and pull this out and i'll let that dry out just a little bit There we go. 
Uh, when is Chicago Comic Con? There's actually two of them. Um, I want to say the one. There's one in March or April. That's uh, C2E2, and then you have uh, Chicago Comic Con, which uh, I believe is it just finished, didn't it? I believe that was in um, in August. Uh, I, I'm. <laughs> I'm really bad with dates, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, it had just passed. Okay, and uh, since the uh, water temperature is not as hot as usual, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour this out barehanded. And you can see this is a fairly light looking tea. It's uh, pretty clear as it's pouring out. It's slightly red from all the berries and stuff, but not not too too red. Uh, I'll show you guys in just a moment. I need to balance this out. There we go. It's kind of pinkish, actually. So if you take a look, yeah, you have it's it's very pink. Um, that's from all the berries and all of the uh, fruits that's in it. Uh, you don't really. There's a little tiny bit of blue. I don't know if you can notice it uh, going around the corner. Uh, not the corner. Sorry, around the edge. Uh, this is. From the blueberry, I'm sure. Uh, you see that it, that there's actually like kind of a halo around it. That's uh, that's that's the uh, the blue color. Um, I find it a little strange that you have uh, such a predominance of pink, and yet the blue is so distinct. You know, it's hard to. Uh, I don't know why that is. It's probably just the 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 concentration of the tea. Um, the coloring, you know, you see it when you see the different colors as it gets lighter uh, around the edges, uh, and there is a completely clear halo uh, at the very, very top. So that's this is this is going to be a very uh, a very berry tasting. It was so hard for me not to say that with, without a straight uh, with a straight face. You say very berry. It's just, it just sounds like a cereal or something, but. Anyway, I'm excited to start this uh, the stream. I'm mean, not the stream, the uh, the cup. So down the hatch. Mm, here we go. Oh, that's really nice. That is like it's it's very fruity. Um, this actually, yeah, this is totally an iced tea. It tastes very um, very sweet little bit of tangy but not too strong um, I'm probably gonna use the rest of this tonight by throwing it in my uh, in my iced tea pitcher and uh, and cold uh, cold steeping it because this is this is excellent mmm it's got um, an almost fruit punch kind of flavor to it ow Ow. <laughs> oh my, I'm still sore. Oof. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I've been doing this all day. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, the uh, it's got like a really a re really strong elements of fruits. Uh, it's got like a fruit punch. It's basically a hot fruit punch, and and that's the makings of a really good iced tea. Uh, a lot of a lot of teas can go back and forth. You can ice them, and they would taste excellent. Um, this one, actually, I believe I might prefer cold, uh, just because of the fruit content. Uh, it'll be nice and juicy. Uh, but yeah, it's not too not too shabby. And I am drinking this um, unsweetened. Uh, I think that you know because I do have a sweet tooth, I prefer it. Uh, with a little bit of, uh, not, not sugar, uh, uh, what is it called? The, uh, stevia. I knew it was an S word. Uh, it, it got the, the, the stevia going. If, that would probably enhance it a bit. Uh, I'm not going to sweeten it tonight, but probably when I make the, uh, iced tea, I'll, uh, I'll check it out that way. Oh, I'm gonna have another sip. Yeah, this does. This really doesn't need sugar at all. 
you have it's um there's there's you, I mean you could taste the white tea in it um it's it's very light but it's it's there uh generally uh, white tea is a little bit harder to taste um because you know when you drink like black tea or you drink green tea those are more uh mature leaves those are more uh stronger um stronger tastes but the white tea it takes a little bit of training to see to taste what you can get out of it um each tea has its own uh distinct <gasps> oh excuse me oh excuse me each tea has its own uh distinct flavor depending on what stage of uh, of growth it is and uh, how it's processed. Uh, white tea has a very, very light flavor. Um, it's basically, if you, if you don't know what you're looking for, uh, it'll taste like hot water. Uh, but as you drink different white teas, you tend to find a distinction with each one. Like for instance, if you have Silver Needle. Silver Needle has a soft, uh, kind of silky mouthfeel to it. Uh, and it's sweeter. But then when you go on to something like, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the, the, the white mon white was a white monkey. Uh, white monkey is a more full leaf. Then you have the um, dog. God, I'm trying to remember the names of them. There was white. There was uh, white monkey. There's. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, a little bit of help here. There was silver needle is one of my favorites. That always comes. Uh, straight away, uh, white. Let me see. They have white peony. I don't know if I've ever had it. Snowbud. Snowbud was the one that I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute to to, to remember. Uh, Snowbud is the very basic uh, three piece leaf. Uh, if you guys remember, it's got the one mature leaf, one growing leaf, and one bud. Uh, and traditionally, you cut the tip of it, uh, and you have that that little three piece that that gives you the full flavor of it um just as it's growing off of the uh off of the branch or, or off of the stem sorry uh but yeah so that has a very distinct flavor because it's uh slightly stronger than these than the silver needle um but it's more it's more earthy more grounded um then you have like white darjeeling white darjeeling is grown only in the Darjeeling um, region of India and that is uh, it's cut and um, it's it's harvested, that's the word I was looking for uh, it's harvested really early on uh, in this problem, I think it's the same way that uh, Snowbud is, uh, but it's processed a little more and you get a, uh, a stronger uh, a stronger it's a stronger but still soft taste that uh, that you're getting with the white Darjeeling so you can see the differences between each tea and uh, depending on where it comes from how it's processed what stage in its life it's picked uh, and, and you'll get different distinctive uh, flavors each time uh, so the same thing goes with this particular tea uh, the, it's actually spider-man is um, is made up of two different teas. Let me go back a little bit. There we go. Uh, it's made up of uh, white eternal spring and raspberry patch. So that's that's the um, you have the white eternal spring, which is the the, the white tea leaf itself, uh, and a couple of a uh, couple of berries and stuff. But then you have the raspberry patch, which puts in all the rest of the fruit. Um, so in this case, you're getting the, the full leaf of the white tea that's just picked, uh, early on in its life. And, um, it's mixed in with all the berries. So that's why you can, you can taste it, but it's not as, uh, as profound as drinking the, uh, the white tea just on its own. And I need to drink a little bit more cause I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit parched. Mm. Now, it's 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 funny because uh, I'm actually picking up the blueberry 
more than the raspberry. And there's like a lot of raspberry content in there. Um, because the 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 raspberry patch is mostly raspberry, but I think that the uh, Eternal Spring has raspberry in it as well. Uh, let me see. I just want to make doubly sure before I give you any uh, any information. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh no, it actually doesn't. So it's only got the um, pineapple, mango, cras cranberries, and rose petals in it, but there's no actual. Okay, never mind then. Uh, there's no actual raspberry. Yeah, that learn something new every day. <laughs> But anyway, um, so like I was saying, it's, it, you're getting, I'm getting the, the blueberry from it more than, more than the uh, other red berries. Uh, you do taste the other berries in the background, but it's not as, um, it's not as prevalent. At least not, not to me. Um, I'm, never, I'm not really a huge blueberry fan, uh, but in this one it's nice because it blends well with the raspberries and the apple and the mango and all of that. So I would definitely recommend this. This would have been perfect had it been uh, iced and three days ago where it was like super hot in Chicago. Uh, this would have been a really nice way to cool down. But I did have iced tea on hand anyway. Uh, I finished it up. It was my um, watermelon, watermelon cooler. I love watermelon cooler as an iced tea. Mm, that's great. I, th I think I did that as a as a stream, didn't I? I know I did the iced tea one, and I believe the I, the the tea that I used was um, was watermelon cooler. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. But anyway, uh, so I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Old man brain. I'm losing uh, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, so, if you have any questions or comments or anything, just throw them at me. I'm, uh, I'm happy to, to answer them for you. Uh, this is a white tea, so it will be, um, it will be a bit caffeinated. Um, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be terribly caffeinated because the, uh, white tea that's in there, um, it's, it's already mixed in with so many other ingredients that you're barely gonna feel it. Um... The the raspberry patch uh, ice uh, no sorry the raspberry patch tea is not caffeinated at all uh, it's all fruits uh, all herbs so you don't have to worry about anything there but the um, the tea that you have for <gasps> oh excuse me I was trying to fight that for a while and it was not it, it was not giving up uh, but anyway the uh, I, I lost my train of thought again. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you go to work all week and your brain gets fried. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to get a little bit more and maybe it'll jog my memory. Mm. It did. Caffeine. Uh, so it's not going to be too... Um, it's not going to be too caffeinated. This will be great to, uh, to have any time of the day. Uh, right, after, right after work, right before bed. You know, I mean, it's, that's... That's what it's there for. Um, unless you're hypersensitive to caffeine, uh, then I wouldn't recommend it, but this is not going to be too, um, too caffeinated. Let me go back to... There we go. Oh, I just want to see if there's a... Yeah, it just says that it's a low level of, uh, whew, of caffeine. I'm sorry about that. I'm just like, whew. Just beat. Uh, but anyway, you see, like, the caffeine's not helping me at all. Uh, I just gotta be naturally energetic. And had I put some sugar in there, maybe that would help a little bit more, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little hot. Oh, I think I'm gonna turn my, uh, my fan a little bit towards me, because I'm starting to sweat a little bit. This is the drawback to doing, uh, doing a tea stream in the middle of summer, because I feel it. I get, I don't know, it gets hot and sticky, <laughs> but, oh yeah, that's better. I got a nice little breeze coming my way. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. Anyway, 
<laughs> like, like this, this tea is like it's it's actually kind of relaxing. You know, it some teas just have that kind of effect. Um, this one, it's basically it, it tastes it tastes like a juice, and that's what I look for when uh, when I make iced teas, especially. I love the 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 juiciness of the berries, um, the the tanginess of what comes out. Uh, you know, you, you 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 get that nice flavor profile um, where you can classify it easily. You know, uh, I don't have any problems knowing that this is a um, that this is an herbal blend. Um, it's not completely an herbal blend, um, but it does have a lot of herbal elements uh, in it. So you don't have to worry. You don't you don't have to you, like I knew what I was getting into when I read the uh, the ingredients uh, you're not gonna have a very strong tea taste um, but it is there if you know where to look mm. oh that's so good oh I don't know should I <laughs> I think I, I think I'm going through this a little bit fast because my first my first cup is uh, it's almost done, actually, uh, and it's all. I'm not even half an hour in. That's that's uh, that's surprising. Normally, I I don't get halfway through uh, until like at least the halfway part. Uh, you love berries and teas mostly in winter. Yes, absolutely. Um, there's nothing like having a berry tea during the winter uh, when it's hot because uh, you have like that that kind of cidery taste to it. Um, just like apple cider, you know, you drink that in, uh, in the winter when it's nice and hot and it warms you up. The, uh, acidity in the fruit, uh, it has a nice effect when it hits the stomach. Um, it's not as strong uh, of a, uh, of an effect like a, like a nice spicy chai. Uh, but it's more relaxing, it's more comforting. Um, chais will burn, <laughs> will burn a, a hole right through you. Uh, if you if you make it just right, but uh, for a nice cider effect, you have the uh, the warmth, uh, and it's it's basically like it, it it keeps you it keeps you comforted. So yeah, that that's that's the way that, it, that that's that's the kind of effect that you'll want in a tea right before you go to bed. Um, same thing as a uh, as a chai, but usually. Uh, chais have a stronger effect, so I would suggest having a chai um, earlier on in the day, like late afternoon into the evening. Uh, but right before bed, nothing works more uh, more than a cider, because the cider is it's it keeps you uh, keeps you nice and comfortable. Oof! Ow! Ooh, my back! <laughs> I'm so old. <clears throat> I'm choking. Oof. Oh, I don't know what happened. Went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> Oof. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, top myself off a little bit because I am running a little low on that. I have zoomed through this first <laughs> through this first cup. And you know it's for good reason because this is a really good tea. Normally I like to to savor it, but you know, in 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 this case I keep going for it. Um, like the, the taste is really really sweet, uh, really uh, slightly tangy. It's not as strong. I've had uh, stronger stronger teas uh, in the past, but uh, this one is is really really nice. It's got a very uh, what sort of like uh, citrusy, uh, citrusy uh, taste to it? It's perfect for for a date for a date today uh, for a night like tonight. I keep forgetting that uh, it's past it's past my bedtime, so <laughs> this is I'm stuck between day and night, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, so I I, I don't know what else to say about this tea. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty straight. Forward, cut and dry. Um, I would love to see how this tastes uh, when it's cold, but I, I I'm not going to do that tonight. Uh, well, I mean I'm not going to do that on the stream. 
Uh, I'll probably update the, uh, the 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 post later on uh, after it's after it's cold. But I mean, in cases like this, I, I don't even think that it would be necessary because I'm perfectly uh, I'm perfectly for uh, I'm perfectly positive that this is going to be a, an amazing iced tea. Uh, the other ones that I have lined up are going to be a little bit iffy. Um, I wanted to make. I wanted to make a um, a series that's going to be varying from from flavor to flavor. I didn't want to. I didn't want it to be all black. I didn't want it to be all green. I didn't want it to be all white, and I didn't want it to be all herbal. Um, you know, I wanted to have some variety. Uh, so over the the next, well, on top of this one, three more weeks, uh, I'm going to present other uh, other fandom teas. Um, and as they come up, I'll, I'll talk more about them. Uh, but this one, this one is very straightforward. It's very, uh, very sweet. Um, and that's why it's like, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of hard for me to talk about a little bit, only because um, it's so straightforward. You know, there's only so much that I can talk about it tasting like berries and juice that there's not much else to leave to the imagination, you know? Um, it's in a way that that's, that's good because it's a reliable flavor. Um, but it doesn't have that kind of, uh, excitement that I get from trying a new tea because something like this, um, it's, it's kind of predictable, but in a good way. I would definitely recommend this to you, uh, especially you, Alejandra, who you love berry tea. This is perfect. I would recommend this. You'd love it. Um... But, you know, it's like, it's, it's kind of gonna, gonna beat a dead horse a little bit, um, to keep continuously describing it in that way. Uh, and that's not what you guys are signing up for, because, you know, you, you, you want to know about tea, uh, you want to find out more about, um, about what, what this, this tea has to offer, um, if I were to pair it, because I know Teresa, that's your uh, <laughs> that's your um, your go to question. What would I pair this with as far as a dessert? Um, it's fruity, so I would say something like maybe a, a, a pound cake. Um, I mean, other fruits for sure. Um, if you were to have like a uh, a sorbet, that would go well, uh, especially if you go with like a sorbet um, with when it's iced, or if you want to have that contrast. Uh, cold sorbet, hot, uh, hot tea, that can go well together, uh, also, and dessert and meat, um, I would keep the, <coughs> the meat light, um, white meats and fish, like that, well, actually, I don't even think fish would, would go well, because you have that, like, fishy taste, uh, along with the acidity um, I know that, you know, a lot of people put, like, lemon juice on their fish, uh, but this doesn't have that same, uh, well, yeah, you can have it on turkey if you want, you know how I feel about turkey, not a big turkey guy, um, <laughs> you can, you can serve it for, uh, for Thanksgiving, I'm not gonna stop you, um, but it, it, it may go well with it, uh, definitely with, uh, with chicken, um, Anything that would go with like a mango salsa, that uh, would have a nice, uh, uh, a nice flavor. Even uh, if you make like a, a what are that the uh, the the pork tacos. Um, if you keep the uh, if you keep the, the the pork lightly seasoned, it should be fine. Ooh, oh, this is bad. My back is killing me. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oof. Ah. Making old man noises. That's bad. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, if you have any questions, comments, anything you want to uh, talk about, let me know. Um, I don't have any announcements uh, as of yet. Uh, there's nothing... I mean, I, you guys know that I'm doing the uh, fandoms all this month. Um, and nothing is really, like, 
even in the works. Um, I still don't have the sign left for my IMVU room, so <laughs> uh, that sh I have somebody definitely working on it now, uh, and she said that she should have it within the next couple days. Um, I'll let you guys know in the uh, on the Facebook group. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, I'll let you guys know in the Facebook group what the status of it is, but I don't really see... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I'm breaking down like an old car right now, <laughs> right before your eyes. Nothing in my body is acting the way it should. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So, um... Yeah, I'm running out of <laughs> things to say, uh, so I'm probably just gonna gonna cut this short. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me, and I will keep you guys posted next uh, for what's coming up next week. Hopefully, I'll have more to talk about for the next one. Um, and in the meantime, have a great weekend, and I will see you then. Bye.